This tutorial is about fixing common problems in Photoshop. I like to use a golf analogy. Here's one example of a troubled shot near a tree. Here is another shot of uh, someone trying to get over a very tall bunker to the green. In golf, your score depends upon how well you get out of trouble because no one's game is perfect. In image processing, a good result depends upon how you clean up problems because no one's data are perfect. So what we're going to cover in the rest of this tutorial is background color noise, halo reduction, oblong stars. Almost everyone has some type of color noise or splotches left over near the end of your processing. Here's an example. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a blue splotch here and there's a blue splotch there. You can download from this link here Noel Carboni's Astronomy Tools action items that get loaded into Photoshop. So what you end up doing is you have your background layer. You go under Actions. You select Space Noise Reduction. And you click here and run the action tool. The result is clearing up these color splotches in the background. And if you immediately hit Control Z, it will create a new layer that shows what the action item actually did. So this is this is the uh, cleaned up layer. This is the original layer. You can go back and forth between the two and see whether you like it. And this did clean up the splotches. You can actually do the same action item over again. Do Control Z again. Now you've cleaned up the cleaned up image if there are other areas that needed more cleaning. Then you hit Control E. You can compress everything and you've got a cleaned up image. Obviously there are other plug-in filters one can get. Here's a link for Noiseware Pro. It's about $70. You can go to picturecode.com. That's Noise Ninja. Both of these are very powerful tools that allow you to control what you get rid of, where you get rid of it. Here again we have the two blue color splotches here and we're going to be using Noiseware Pro. It has a variety of settings that you'll have to learn but once you learn how to use those you'll see that those, uh, those blue splotches go away and you're left with a very nice image. Noise Ninja works the same way. It's very specific. You can get reduction of background noise more in certain areas than others. They're very customizable. Let's move on to reducing halos. Let's say in the upper right hand corner of our NGC 6946 data that we were working with in the previous tutorials, you have a very bright star and a very big blue halo around it. How do you get rid of that? We use replace color in Photoshop. So we will use the circular lasso. We'll then feather this by a large number like 99. We will go under image adjustments, replace color, and we'll start to click throughout the area that has the blue, not on the stars, but just the blue area. You can see that's showing up right here. So we're just selecting that blue halo. Then what we do is we want to replace that blue color with more of a background color. So you click here, and you can see I'm using the eyedropper right down here. I'm clicking here in kind of a darker non-halo blue area, and you can see the color is much darker than that blue halo. You click OK. You then adjust both the fuzziness and the lightness sliders until you get something that looks relatively natural. So we replace that big blue halo with essentially natural background. Now this is done on a duplicate layer, so what you can do with a duplicate layer, since you don't want to get rid of it totally, you just want to reduce the effect, is that you can change the opacity from 100% of this replace color down to maybe 70%, bring a little bit of the blue back in, and then if you like it, you simply control uh, E and combine the layers and you're done. So this is what we started with, this is what we ended with, and you've reduced your halo. Now this is something that happens quite frequently due to tracking, due to tilting of the optical trail. Let's say you put your camera back on and it's not as snug as it could be and you get oblong stars. When you look at your overall image, there's no problem at this scale. But I guarantee you people will be downloading your image, zooming in, and they're going to see these oblong stars. Like then, the, even the small ones are, are oblong. Not so easy to see when you look at view, but when you zoom in, they're there. So what we do is we duplicate a layer. We change the blending mode of that duplicated layer to darken. And then we go into Filter, Other, Offset. And what we're going to do is we're going to move those elongated stars were in this direction. We're going to move the star over one to the right and down one. So we're taking that elongation and we're moving it over and down and we're rounding it out. And you can see that in the preview. We've actually made those elongated stars, even the tinier ones, circular. If we uncheck Preview, you can see what we started with, elongated stars. If we go back, we have circular stars. When you're done, 
just hit Control-E, combine those two layers into one, and save it, and you're done.